Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're getting steamy in the kitchen making trout baked in parchment paper. Baking in parchment paper is a simple and stress-free way to have dinner for one. It also is an elegant way to present a meal when you're having guests over for dinner. We're going to be using trout with a little bit of dill to give it a nice summery kick. We've got 1 8 of a cup of a dry white wine, 8 ounces of a trout filet, a few sprigs of fresh dill, a handful of cherry tomatoes, a few green beans, some extra virgin olive oil, pepper, kosher salt, and a lemon. We're going to lay a 10 inch by 10 inch sheet of parchment paper onto a baking sheet. In the center of the baking sheet, drizzle 1 tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Then, lay a single layer of our green beans. Spread out a few cherry tomatoes and then top the green beans with our piece of trout. Season up the trout with some salt and some pepper and then zest on one teaspoon of our lemon zest. Top that with our few sprigs of dill and then pour on our eighth of a cup of white wine. To seal the parchment package, we're going to have to fold up all of our sides. The trick is, is to pick two sides, fold them up until they meet along the edge and then fold them down, making sure to run your fingers along so that you have a solid crease. This will keep the parchment paper folded while it's in the oven. Then repeat the same steps on the side to make sure that it's completely sealed. We have our oven preheated to 350 degrees and we'll be sliding in our baking sheet and baking the parchment package for 25 minutes until the veggies are crisp, tender and the fish is completely cooked. It's time to serve. Now make sure not to fold open the parchment paper but use a sharp knife and an oven mitt to pierce the package to let any steam come out that might burn you. Our parchment paper fish is all done and I'm dying to try it. It's just steaming right now. Get a nice forkful of this beautiful trout. Mmm. Perfectly cooked. Mmm. Oh. Just those bright flavors, that wine, the dill, the lemon, it just tastes healthy. This just tastes like an amazing dish whether you're eating alone or you're serving it for guests. Thanks so much for checking out The Hot Plate. Make sure to check out this and all of our other episodes and recipes at thehotplate.com and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.